You had a, you had a half. I mean, was, is there anything you could take out of that, or was it just such kind of a you know delayed and then sit in the locker room and, and 30 minutes of play? I mean, is there anything you can take out of that to learn from? Yeah, there's a lot you can learn. You know, what I learned I learned a lot about our players. I learned a lot about our players. I learned that uh, that they were very focused. They they handled the distractions quite well, a lot better than I did, quite frankly. And I also took that uh, they were very discouraged and disappointed that we couldn't go on with the game, you know. And sometimes when, you, uh, when you're when you behind, you know, like that, and you get your tail kicked, that you might, you know, put your tail between your leg and go home, and, and they didn't. They were very disgruntled and discouraged that they couldn't come back out and compete and finish that game. So I think a lot of the talks that we're dealing with them and it shows their competitiveness, that I really, really like. So I took out of that, that, you know, with that, we have a bright future. Then you turn around and get a team, Indiana State was picked just above you guys, and then they knock off Illinois State out of the rankings this week. Uh, it doesn't get any easier this week. Nothing ever gets any easier, but let's not lose perspective, Jim. You guys are the ones that picked us, you know? <laughs> so um, they're doing good, and the thing that's the worrisome about them on a very low level comment is they've won their close games, and that shows you that they compete to the very end. So um, a lot of respect for what they're doing over there. Talking about the Sycamores, um, offensively, they've got a, a quarterback and a, and, a, and a wide receiver tandem that they kind of hook up a lot, and then some good running, so some good balance there between both sides of the ball. They have great balance. They're, they're averaging, uh, I want to say, probably close over 400 yards a game. They're averaging probably close to about 30 points a game. Um, they're, they're managing the clock well. They're winning the turnover margin right now. So there's, uh, you know, I keep talking about the plan to win. They're, they're executing the plan to win. I think their, their schedule, their, schedule, their uh, record is very uh, indicative of that. And then defensively, when they needed to make the stop to win the game, they got the sack and the fumble. Yeah, it was a big play. I actually just got done watching a little bit ago, and uh, Brian Cabral's an old friend, and he's doing a really good job of changing up their coverages, and they got a very tough physical front. Um, but, yeah, they, they're making plays when they're supposed to make them. What was the most impressive thing you saw out of your defense at Kansas State? You know what? I even though they scored, I was very impressed with their opening drive because that was a you know 11 play, six minute drive, and and we made them earn every penny. Every, I was gonna say every penny they got, but every point they got because took it to fourth and one. And uh, I thought that was very impressive how they battled and fought, and were very resilient. You know, they got put in a couple advantageous situations, and uh, they battled through it and got a couple third down stops. So. Uh, it was good to see. You had, uh, I think, three third down conversions, but only 29 total plays on offense. Would you have liked to have seen more plays from the offense continuing that game, or was the game called at about the right time for your for your sake? <laughs> it wasn't called for my sake. We wanted right. to keep playing. Right. So, you know, that was the, the umpires and officials in the Big 12 offices when canceled that because Coach Snyder and we wanted to keep going. Uh, I want to say, don't quote me, they had 34 plays, we had 29. So I thought they were managing the clock well and, and uh, doing a great job of trying to keep the defense off the field. You know, I, I think defense got all in the field because of uh, the turnovers, obviously. You know, we had the punt, the, the fumble, the interception, and the block punch. So, uh, punch. I think I've slept about six hours in three days. Um, blocked punt. So uh, uh, you put, get yourself in that advent, advantageous situation. You know, I thought they responded okay for that. And you don't make the schedule, you only play what you're given, but it's another road game. But you see the light at the end of the tunnel of being able to come back here and have a full week at home. Just approaching this week, how you Chad, approach I really it. like you, man, but you're, you're talking about last week and a week next. Mm -hmm. I'm more worried about Indiana State and, right. you know, me and the players, and I firmly believe in my heart that it's put it down ball. You're right, we don't make the schedule. So wherever they put the ball down, we got to show up, we got to go play, and I'm in. 